Greetings, universe. This is Bloodborne, and I have a great deal of frustration. You see, I thought I recorded my jailbreak, but it didn't record. So when I went to end the recording, it started recording. And so I ended that recording and tried to use the share button to save the video, figuring that I could salvage it that way. I got three seconds of video. So, you, you missed out on me uh, exploring this place and finding a couple of items. Well, a bunch of items, including a few madman's knowledges. So, let me find where I was first in prison. There is a kitty one. Oh, I missed the spot where I was first in prison. Um, here we are. So, I woke up in here. The door was completely unlocked. And, uh, yeah, then I made my jailbreak. Madmen toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon, uncover their secrets. Alright. So, I found a couple of cool items. Let's see, what were they? I found two or three Madman's Knowledge. I found a couple of bloodstone shards, or twin bloodstone shards, which allowed me to upgrade my uh, axe to plus four because I'm making that my primary weapon for now. Uh, yeah, see, plus four. Um, that's a plus one. Let's see. I finally read about Gascoigne's... Gascon's armor? Gascon's armor. Hunter attire worn by Father Gascon. Similar to hunter garb created at the workshop, only these are tainted by a pungent, beastly stench that eats away at Gascon. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. So I commented on this, but you, but you never got to see it. It's tainted by a pungent beastly stench, so Gascon, change your clothes. Anyway, his garb is the only one with a different description, the second paragraph. The dingy scarf is a holy shawl and symbol of the healing church from which Gascon would eventually part ways. So this made me conclude that Father Gascon had been part of the church and then parted ways to become a cleric in a foreign land before returning to Yarnum. Also, there was a woman I met who only responded to me wearing church clothing, healing church clothing. She was right here. I sent her away to Odin Chapel and she gave me madman's knowledge. Anyway, I hypothesized that it was the chest piece specifically, which had the scar, that uh, made her Responded. Also, Tenetris. I got this item and I never read it, even in the episode that is now lost to the ages. Tenetris, a unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church workshop. Striking this peculiar Iron Morning Star flail like a match generates the same blue sparks that blanket a dark beast. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the hunters of Archibald's time did not fully take to the device. Speaking of, I found some bolt paper. Coarse paper that applies bolt to weapons when rubbed. Invented by Archibald, the famous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop, artificially recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround dark beasts. Unlike other strange weapons created by Archibald, this one was favored by many hunters, in particular those who had even once laid eyes on a dark beast. Which reminds me, I also got my teeth kicked in twice by a dark beast. I also found some more armor. Your hard wool hooded iron helm. Iron helm worn by hunters of the unseen village. The hunters of Yahargul answer to the village's founders, the school of Mensis. Hunters in name only, these kidnappers wear their black hoods low to shadow their eyes. This helm is made of metal, a rarity for hunter garb, and has high defense, but only against physical attacks. Yahargul, black guard, gloves, trousers. So the only thing that changes... Oh. Thick black pullover worn by hunters of the Unseen Village. Second paragraph is the same. Oh, no, not quite. It ends instead of talking about how the hood 
shadow of the eyes, these kidnappers blend into the night wearing this attire. Designed primarily to defend from physical attacks, the binding of thick rope serves both to protect its wearer and restrain his foes. Gloves worn by hunters of the Unseen Village, designed primarily to defend from physical attacks. Trousers worn by hunters of the Unseen Village. Also, I got a uh, moon rune. A secret symbol left by Carol, a runesmith of Burgundy. A transcription of Moon as spoken by the Great Ones inhabiting the Nightmare. Gain more blood echoes. Great ones that in, the Great Ones that inhabit the Nightmare are sympathetic in spirit and often answer when called upon. And yeah, I think that's all I collected. So, I guess I'll uh, run around and give everyone a quick tour of the place. This place leads to the boss, who kicked my teeth in twice, and so I should eventually change my uh, uh, equipment to reflect this. There's these enemies who kicked my teeth in. Oh man, I'm, I'm down to 13, uh, uh, healing items. Oh man, two of them at once. Nope, nothing doing. So, I did not go here last time, so... Oh, right. There's a noisy monster here. That's some kind of a pig. Behold, the pig beast. There's a giant pig monster. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Yes. Now I can... And pull out his custom tools behind him. You know, pigs are known for dropping a lot of blood vials. Anyway, coming out here, there are dogs. I am bad at fighting. Alright, so, up here was the uh, armor set. And on these corpses were a trio of black animals. Alright, so, heading back up these stairs. That door will unlock later on, but not yet. Not yet. Behold, a pale blood sky. Looks just like sunset to me. I lack the insight to truly see what is this terrible sky. Anyway, that big charge me. Big charge me, terrifying. They, they can take me out one time. Oh, oh yes! Visceral attacks against the pig. Oh, more blood piles. Anyway, there was an item back here. I collected it. Moving on up the street. Up the dog. Ow. I think that a dog like that could be behind me the whole time, and I would never know. Alright, so, moving. Ah, see that can fly. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Anyway, up there, where you see that statue standing with some more dogs, that is where the dog is. Do those dogs have no eyes in addition to their horrifying, misshapen heads? Anyway, I didn't level up last time because I lost my blood echoes in a similar scenario to this and then got packed up on by dogs as I tried to retrieve them and completely destroyed. Oh, 
Oh, yes, and over here was one of those uh, little bone critters that carry bloodstone shards. So, I'm going to head up here, try and find my blood echoes, return to the hunter's dream to try and level up. Uh, every time I try this, I think... I was trying to heal, and just like when I lost all my blood echoes that other time, I lost all my blood echoes and can't level up, and now I'm super frustrated because I have now lost uh, nearly 40,000 blood echoes this way. No, no, over 40,000 blood echoes. Okay. So now I will go downstairs. Hey, cat, don't chew on my wires. This wire is thin and you could easily sever it. So! Three <laughs> year old women trying to cut off my arm. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, let go, let go! No, those are my eyes. Give them back! Uh, So having died, I will change up my armor to the doll set. I am having a visitor. Alright, so, I had a visitor. Anywho, so, if I die to this boss once more, I got my teeth kicked in by it twice already, I will summon that helper, and if I still get horrendously destroyed by this boss, I'm just going to give up on it for now, so I have to do it. Back up, back up, back up. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. This boss is just one of those bosses where I either do really well and destroy it on my first try, or it annihilates me over and over and over. Anyway, having fought in the Dolgar, which is one of the worst armors in the game, I'm not going to use that again. Right, right, right. I want to go hide somewhere not near enemies before I go changing my armor. Okay, so yes, I am online. Right. So then, armor. Rumpled Yarnum hat. Yeah, no, I'm gonna equip real armor. Okay, so. Race through here. Anyway, I tried fighting this boss with the saw cleaver once, and while the saw cleaver does do more damage than the axe, 
I managed to hit the boss all of once before being annihilated using the cleaver. <laughs> Time for cooperators and remember rolling. Yes. And the first time I fought this boss on the recording that didn't record, I managed to perform a visceral attack on it, which surprised me because I thought that this boss, being a skeleton lacking in the would be immune to that sort of thing. <laughs> failed to roll out of the way on the time because I Well, that's hard to say. What? Again? That was a tough one. I don't know why. Oh, so, you saw the second one fall using the flame spin. Right? Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, you might be wondering why I'm not locked on. That's because locking on anything at the head makes it hard. I went for quite a while without getting a hit, like, no, 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 by aiming at the leg. Ow. The boss is using that Earth Warrior a whole lot less thanks to having a second target. Which is true because that aura attack is AOE, and you would definitely Ah. Well, my son. Nope. Giving up on this boss for now. <laughs> it has wrecked my space four times now. And it's just one of those bosses where things either go really well or really poorly. So, I am giving up on this boss until I at least have a, the rune tool and have a few runes. Uh, well, have a few runes memorized. to Cathedral Ward. Hello there. Oh, brave hunter. You're alive. Thank you very much. Oh, the town is in disarray, but there are still people here. Together we await the help of the healing church. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lonely blood. If it would suffice? Yes, of course. Come in close. Now. Take my blood. So this woman, Adela, is the one that I rescued from uh, the basement of that of the Hypogean jail. So, blood of Adela restores HP and continues to restore HP for a short time. 
blood taken from Adela, nun of the healing church, restores an amount of HP, then continues to gradually restore HP for a short time. The healing church nuns are chosen for their merit as vessels for blood and groomed as blood saints. The mere chance of being treated with their blood lends legitimacy to the healing church and communion. Okay, that is weird. Alright, so. Now I could go on with the main plot line, or what I'm going to do instead is go look for the moon shield. Ow, ow. drops at all. Uh, I'm running low on healing items, so I'm really glad to have the blood of Adela. Last time I accidentally used the blood of Yosefka when I was trying to use fire paper. Or some other item. Oh, they cold them. Like I had equipped that other item into my active slot, but then it changed up the item in my active slot to the blood of Yosefka. Or rather change it might get active slot to the blood of Yosefka item. What? Oh wow, I do. But right, I'm backing off here so I can clean it and lengthen my halberd. Oh wow, I do not expect a giant to be able to fit down this path. Kill the dog yet. <laughs> well, that was a good way to take out my frustrations. Oh, and I got some healing items out of that. Yes! That makes me happy. Alright, so, to the left of the church, a bloodshot eyeball. Delightful. Ooh, some bold hunter's marks. This doesn't mean that the, it is the mark of a bold hunter, it is it means that the mark is bolded. At least that's my interpretation. Huh. Did I ever buy the hand lantern? I don't think I did. I forgot to buy it. Alright, so this place is a scary place. Because the sheer number of dogs are so messed up. Anyway, there are people like this, and there are really messed up Come here, dogs, so that I may go to the silver bullets. You need not suffer anymore. Ah. You have been claimed by the abyss. I apologize. I, I'm not sure there's anything actually worth collecting in this here forest. I might be wrong. Wow, that completely missed me. Stuff these dogs are. Alright, 
so here we are. Come with Donald. And I acquired a new item just now, so let's have a look at it. Bloodshot eyeball, material used in a holy chalice ritual. An exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before, used to unlock the seal of the old labyrinth hinter tomb. Ah, the hinter tomb. All right, so. Since I haven't respawned the enemies here and I only have a few minutes left before the recording ends, I'm just going to head back into the woods. Cat, please do not stand in front of the TV. Thank you. Alright, so head into the woods to see if there's anything worth collecting. And then next time we'll start on Emma's Carnal Lane. Alright, some bullets. Bullets are good. Especially at one point soon, which I think I'll get to the point where the bullets are going to fly. I can swing right through these doors. I love how this guy has a pop hat. Alright, more quicksilver bullets. And, uh, oh, oh, there is some stuff out here. Oh, oh, there's a tutorial over Ow, 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 ow. I, I am completely shocked by the survival. Oh, oh, yeah, I definitely want to have an iron tree. Quick silver bullets. Quick silver bullets, quick silver bullets, quick silver bullets, bone marrow ash, no, thick cold blood four, thick cold blood four. Okay. I think now I want to return to the hunter's dream and level up. I'm not totally certain that running back to that lantern is faster than going through an extra load screen, but it feels, it feels better anyway. So next time we will explore Hemwick Charnel Lane. Yes. What is it you desire? All right. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. All right. Oh, only one level. All right. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. All right. And of course we will bow to the uh, doll, and then we'll spend deposit the rest of our money on healing items. Yep. All right. Farewell.